Okay, Houston, right. we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. So one thing that's very confusing about the concept of circular motion in terms of direction is what are the directions of motion when something is moving in a circle? So take, for example, I have an object moving in a circle, okay, and it's right here in the circle. What direction is it moving in terms of velocity and acceleration? Let's have a look. So I have a, a wooden arky thing right here, but if you look at this piece right here, this is the elements of a circle, and I have a big metal ball, and I'm gonna roll the metal ball, and I've got these beakers, and the question is, it, will it continue to travel in a circle, all right, moving in a circle, or what will it do? So I'm gonna roll the ball, and we're gonna see what happens when it does. So at any given point, like we just saw in the clip, is the velocity is coming off, this would be the velocity, it's moving, and here's a word, big fancy word, it's moving tangential to the motion, right? So if it's moving in a circle, this is the tangent, tangential, right? Because it's, 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 a, it's a 90 degrees angle from the circle, right? It's, you've got a, like a 90, 90 degrees there. So this is 90 degrees, it's going to be moving in that direction. But secondarily, I think what's interesting, that's the direction of the velocity. So if I have a, of a ball and I'm spinning it on a string, right, when I get it done spinning, I let go. The moment I let go, it's going to keep going in a straight line, tangential, 90 degrees from the circle. But because you're moving in a circle and your direction is changing constantly, all right, that constant directional change that means that the acceleration is always pointed towards the center of the circle, right? And so, and we talk about, of course, the centripetal uh, acceleration. Acceleration is actually equal to v squared over r. So the acceleration, uh, but always the direction, though, that thing we're getting at, is pointed towards the center, and a is v squared over r, which can also say, let's talk about this, what about the centripetal force? The centripetal force, if we know that force is mass times acceleration, so the centripetal force would be equal to mass times v squared over r. But then next question, what is the direction of the centripetal force? It is going to be towards the center. Since the acceleration is towards the center, the force follows the acceleration, so the force is towards the the center of the circle. Houston, we don't have a problem. So clearly what happened is it moved off straight. So when it came out of the circle, you saw it moving in a straight line. And is it moving in a straight line? That's called the tangential. It's moving tangent to the circle.